Hello and welcome to Tell Aviation and today we have the VSR Mini from Overlander Batteries. First off we've got to say big thanks to Overlander for actually sending this, this in for review. So this is a portable charger that is about that big and you can um, and it charges at 60 watts at a 6 amp charge rate. You can charge nymphs, nicads, PBs, which is lead acids, lipos, leafies, lipo high voltages, and lions. One thing that I have noticed um, straight off is that it does only run off an AC port, so that means that you're gonna have to have a um, you're gonna have to plug it into the wall socket in the UK. The fact that this is a portable charger and it is very small, it's quite a shame that you can't actually take it to a remote location normally because they don't have AC ports, they have DC ports and this only runs off AC. But then again, this is for the money, it's about £38, £40 and, and this is a very good charger for the price, it's very good quality as well. I will put a link in the description to where you can buy it if you want to buy this charger after the review. Right, so first off let's have a look at the specs on the back. So you can charge two to four cell batteries, so that's a lipo. So down here there's a little chart showing you what, a little chart showing you some specs. So let's have a look inside the box. So first off we've got a little manual and this will tell you how to use the charger with little diagrams that looks quite good, how to go through the menus and so on. I have been through this box so there is a bit of plastic casing around the charger to keep it safe during transport. I have taken out the box because I've been testing it for the last few weeks just to make sure that it doesn't break after the first few charges. Next up you've got a little, you've got um, a cable to plug it into AC, you've got an AC wall connector there and you've also got the connector for the charger there. This does normally come up like um, tied up with a little plastic, a little plastic tie but I haven't um, but I've already been in the box so I've used it before. Also you get a Dean's connector and finally we've got the charger. First impressions of this is that it is quite a solid structure made out of sort of a rubberized glass plastic, it's got two fans on the sides and also these buttons have quite a good feel to them, quite snappy so they don't seem like they're going to break. You can plug the balance lead of a 2-4S battery into here to, um, to charge them and you can also plug the power lead into here. You can also plug the charge lead into here which then goes to your battery. You can actually plug your ST, uh, XT60 right into here so you don't even need any leads if you run XT60s. But this little Dean's connector, this is just um, that's just a converter so you can just plug that in if you do run a Dean's connector. So yeah, overall it is quite a nice charger, um, it's got a nice feel to it, it's got some rubber grommets on the bottom to keep it stable on this table. So it's not it's not going to move around too much. Uh, this is pretty much it for the looks of the charger. I'm just going to take you to an overhead setup with the run cam, so that I can take you through the menus of the charger. Right, so here is the menu for the charger. It's very similar to the previous charger that I reviewed from Overlander. Um, and it costed quite a lot more money than this but the menu system seems to be pretty much the same. So you can only charge one battery at a time with this battery so if you click the battery type it just takes you over to the menu and you can just you can, you can see the battery memory that you can create and you can just go through each model, you can go through each memory that you've created if you create battery memories and select them for a charge. You can also go you can also go between them like you can also you can also click this you can also click the battery type and you you can go through all the different settings like um, memories and and also meters and resistance testers and also the setup program setup and that's pretty much it for the batch that's pretty much it for the settings part of it so I'm just going to set select a lipo right so there you go now as you can see I've got a lipo charge set up so I do not want to charge it I want to balance charge it so there you go you've got balance charge and it's set up to 2.2 amps so that's a 2200 if it was a 1300 mAh battery it would be 1.3 and then down here as you can see you've got an um, 11.1 3S that means the how many cells the battery has got so if you were going for a 2S you'd just go like that and you just click onto this and then you'd change the battery type 
we can only go up from a 2 cell to a 4 cell on this charger sadly so you can't go up to a 6 cell or down to a 1 cell. Right so that's pretty much it for the settings of the charger, I'm just going to go back to the big camera now. Right so that's pretty much it for this charger, overall I like the form factor, it's a very small charger so you could just put this in your suitcase and just take it on holiday if you're going to fly away on a, um, in another country. You could just take a few packs and you could fly say a quad or something like that. And also if you had an AC, um, also if you had a DC to AC converter in the car you could probably actually use this charger in a car as well. That is probably the biggest downfall of it is uh, that the charger does only run off AC, it doesn't run off DC. I would quite like that to be in this charger because to be honest the form factor you really want to take this to different places um, different places and use it at different in different locations that maybe are remote like a flying field and um, where you wouldn't have an AC port um, this is a great charger for anyone who's getting into the hobby I think it's better than most I've seen um, I, I'd say it's probably the best charger that I've seen in this price range that is the most intuitive and also also the company it comes from Overland that they have been in this country for quite a while now so that mean, um, and the reputation is very good regarding safety and also the quality of the products are very good that's why I went to that's why I actually bought their chart there that's why I actually bought their previous charger and I really did enjoy uh, um, and I really enjoy using that charger and this charging in um, together now to charge all my batteries really quick so in conclusion this is probably the best charger for a beginner who's getting into the hobby maybe not if you're going to be uh, taking it to different locations and using it um, and, if, and using it if that location doesn't have an, AA, an AC port um, but if it does like a hotel room or something it, that, this is a great charger to take there as well so yeah that's pretty much it for this review if you do want to buy this charger there's a link in the description down below also if you are still here in the video please do give a like and maybe if you do like my videos please subscribe I, I release new videos every week at Tuesday on 10am um, but the past few weeks um, the weather's been absolutely terrible so I've not been able to get too many videos out. I'll be changing around now because it's Christmas and I've got a bit of time off school um, and I've got a bit of time off school so I'll be able to get focus my mind on these videos and get a few more out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.